The biggest dress to impress update just dropped today. The Halloween update is packed with 30 plus new hairs, 70 plus new items, and so much more. There's also a surprise hidden in the video, make sure to keep watching. Before we start, let's see who won the 500 Robux in my previous video. Congrats to the winner! Let's start the video now. We'll start with checking out the new items as usual. I believe there are 70 items in total. 31 free items. 28 VIP items. And 3 from the code. And 8 currency items. That is so much new stuff. Oh we also have a few items that were reworked. I'll start from the free items. By the way, there are so many items and I'm sure I won't be able to fit all of them in one video, so I'm just going to point out the ones that catch my eyes. Firstly, we have this Nintendo Switch item. Okay this is actually so cute. You can toggle the pose or the animation. This is with movement. Movement but the head is not looking down at it. Stiff. And stiff with no head. Next up, we have this camera. This is also not a rework of the old camera, I think. But I'm pretty sure the old camera is removed now, so I'm not too sure. Let me know if it is a rework of it. But this one is such a cutie. Obsessed with the stickers on it. And the way we hold it is also adorable. Alrighty, we're moving on to the Halloween section. There is so much stuff. I'll start from these overalls. This is a denim overalls and the texture is crazy. These look so realistic. I think these will be perfect for dressing up as a scarecrow. Such a cute and versatile item. What are the toggles? Oh this one is a washed denim. And this has paints? Wait that's amazing. You can use this when you're dressing up as an artist as well. Oh I'm obsessed. Next, we have this awesome denim beret cap that was made and leaked by Owen I believe. I've been in love with it ever since Owen leaked it. Love 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 the buckle, pattern, and the little details. I'm most likely going to overuse this. Next, we have these balloon sleeves. I'm so happy that they finally added these. I've been waiting for these balloon sleeves forever to use them on the Victorian era theme. Again, I'm gonna overuse this so much. Next, we have this set of jewelry. I've seen this often on Pinterest before. It's like a pearl necklace with red beads, I think? The red beads are meant to look like blood. So I think this is perfect. Then we have these boots. Oh my gosh these just screams monster high don't you think? Definitely going to overuse this item. So obsessed with it. Next, we have these cat ears headband. It also has little ribbons, so adorable. I'm glad they finally added cat ears. Next, we have this top. I was so worried because I thought only the masculine body could wear this lol. Anyways, here is the first toggle. You can remove the bottom part. The second toggle, it removes the vest. And you can also remove the bottom part. And lastly, the vest only toggle. Okay I love the last toggle. Can't wait to make fits with it. Okay, there's one secret item in the free section. It's by the VIP door, on the plant pot. You can wear the a hot dog mascot suit? The devs are so funny for including this lol. Let me know what you guys are using this for. Maybe I should make a video where I have to use that item on all of the rounds haha. Next, I'm going to check out the VIP items. We'll start from the Halloween section this time. So over here, you can click this pumpkin that says kitty tail, and you can wear a cat tail. This is perfect to cosplay cat themed characters like Toralei from Monster High. Then we have this awesome looking cape. Like, Raven Queen who? Oh and Maleficent of course. But I need to cosplay Raven Queen using this item. I'm definitely going to do that once I finish this video. Next up, we have this pirate hat. I really like the buttons, laces, rows, and feathers. They made the hat look so much better. Moving on, we got this belt with garters, thigh pocket, and potions. Hello? I really want to style this. And we also have a sword. Oh wow, okay. You can hold it up like this. Or sideways or downwards. Or even better, double swords. Okay yeah, this column is definitely giving pirate. Next, we got a flying broomstick. You can sit on top of it, facing sideways. Or facing the front, looking cute. Then this toggle makes it look like you're flying on it. 
or you can just hold it while walking. I've been eyeing this guitar. Isn't this so cool? Again, I'm definitely going to overuse this. Ah, I just love it. Such a cool accessory. You can also remove the watermark if you'd like. Lastly from the Halloween section, we got these top and skirt that has belts all over them. This definitely matches with the boots over here. But they're also giving mummy vibes? Maybe like modern mummy lol. I'm going to try that outfit idea later and see how it'll turn out. Next, we have more new items in VIP. We finally got these decora clips and necklace. I've been dying to get something like this in game. I'm so 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 happy right now. Definitely overusing these. And we have this adorable ruffled skirt. You can remove the layers one by one by toggling it. That's so cool. Oh you can also make the straps thicker. And turns off this one to equip patterns on it. Let's check out the currency items and buy them. Okay, so, DTI made like a dressing room where you can equip your currency items, code items, robux items, and items that you can get by getting an achievement. So the currency items are no longer on the map. But to buy them, you'll have to go to the shop. Then click this icon right here. You'll be able to see the robux items and all of the currency items. First, we have the skull thigh high boots for 1500 money. Let's buy it. We'll try it out once we've bought all of the new items. Next, we have an acoustic guitar for 1200 money. Done! Then we have the Supernova set. You can click view to see the items. There's the Supernova star skirt for 1500 money. Done! And the corset for 1500. Bought as well. Next, the witch set, it has 4 items. Firstly is the skirt, it costs 1000 money. Done. Then we have the sleeves for 500 money. Bought it. The corset for 1200 money. Done. And lastly, the hat for 900 money. Bought. I believe that's all of the new items. So in total, they cost 9300 money. I calculated that manually so let me know in the comments if it's wrong lol. Anyways, let's walk to the dressing rooms. Here it is. You can get in one of them to start equipping the items. This tab is for your currency item. Then we have the Robux items. All of the items combined. Code items. And lastly, achievement items. The brat item is included in this one. Here is the first item, the skull thigh high boots. This is really cool. It also has a shorter toggle. Love both versions. Next, the acoustic guitar. It has the same animation as the electric guitar on VIP. Then we have the Supernova set. I really like the single puffy sleeve. Lastly, the witch set. So in love with the sleeves and corset. I think they'll be really useful for outfit hacks. Lastly, we'll have to redeem and try on the new code items. Okay, so the new code is CH00P1E underscore ones underscore B4CK. Redeem it. You will get these three adorable items. Here's how they will look like when you equip them. I love the fluffy heart patches on the jacket and skirt. And the shoes are so cute. Alrighty, we have to check the new hairs. There are 39 new hairs. OMG. That's just crazy. I'm so excited, let's just see it now. Okay, they have revamped the GUI. This is the first one. Gorgeous messy updo. You can use the hair only or the bangs only by toggling it. Then we have the Harley Queen hair. This hair was leaked already, and I'm in love with how good this hair turned out. Love the ombre. You can also toggle the hair only or the bangs only. And we have the Draculaura inspired hair. They've given us a sneak peek on this hair so I'm pretty sure some of you have seen it before. But it turned out so pretty. I love the stripes and everything. You can wear it with no bangs or bangs only. Okay, this one is adorable. The bows? And the little curly strands. So obsessed, I need to style this once I finish this video. Again, you can wear it with no bangs, or bangs only. Moving on, we got a sleek bun. I'm so in love with these strands and how you can color them separately from the hair. The messy baby hair too. So cute. Here are the toggles. Next, we have this straight long hair. Let's see the toggles. Hold up, animated? Okay, we'll go through it one by one. This is the default toggle. Then we have the extra strand toggle. Oh, here is the extra strand. And animated. 
What? The devs definitely outdid themselves in this update. This is so cool. Let's try the more animated one. Okay, yeah, I love this hair. I think this would look good layered with other hairs. I gotta try it later. Next, we have this wavy short bob hair. This would be perfect for the Roaring Twenties theme. Then we have this short hairstyle. Is it me or is it giving Karen? Please tell me it's not just me lol. Moving on, we have five black hairstyles. I'm not familiar with the term so I don't want to accidentally say the wrong one haha. But I really like the messy bun and this half up half down one. Lastly, we got pigtails. I love how voluminous and curly this one is. I'm definitely overusing this one. Next, let's see the new game passes. There are two new ones in total. The first one is the 2 times money pass, it costs 399 robux. And you can now increase your item limit from 18 to 24 by buying this game pass that costs 129 robux. I'm gonna buy all of them now. First is the 2 times money pass. Bought. Then I'll buy the increased item limit pass. Done. Let's try collecting money now. Ooh, we get 2 to 6 money by collecting the pink money. Usually the pink money gives me around 1 to 2 money. What about the gold money? I got 34. I usually get 14 to 24 from the gold money. This game pass would be really useful if you don't have much time to grind. Next, I'll try the increased item limit game pass. I've equipped 18 items, let's see if I can equip more. OMG I can. This will be really useful for cluttered fits. I'm so happy they added this game pass. Now, I will be giving away 5 of the increased item limit game pass and 5 of the 2 times money game pass. I'm gonna show you how to enter the giveaway later in the video, so make sure to keep watching till the end. Let's check out the new features. Firstly, you can now increase the rounds timer by 1 minute by buying it with Robux. It costs 79 Robux to buy it and it will increase the time by 1 minute for everyone. This will be really useful if you still need time to finish your fit. Next, you can now see the explanation of the theme. This helps a lot if you don't know what the theme means. Next up, this dressing room. I've explained how this works already, but there's another feature in it. You can save outfits in free play mode now. Once you finish making an outfit, and you want to save it, just head to one of the dressing rooms. Click this icon, and click the plus icon. Name your outfit, and save it. You can only wear the saved outfit in free play otherwise it will be kinda cheating lol. But you can still save outfits in regular servers. But this is really useful for outfits that has max items lol. Oh and also, there are dressing rooms in the VIP room too. So make sure to use that if you're in the VIP room. Next, you can now gift all of the game passes instead of just the VIP and custom makeup. Lastly, there are 12 different type of nail shapes and length now. Go to Lena. And ask her to do your nails. You can pick your nail shape and length here. Let's use this one. Then you can color it. This is such a fun feature, I like it. Let's do a quick tour of the new map, lobby, and runway. Here's the lobby. It's absolutely beautiful by the way. Owen did an amazing job building this. Anyways, over here, you can see the leaderboard. And up here is where the podium is. To the left, you can find the green screen. And to the left again, you can find the obby. I love the new board for the names and difficulty level of the obby. Oh and there are 7 new obbies. I think this is one of them. And it's the medium difficulty. Let's try it. Oh if you fell you'll get teleported back to the start of the obby. Well that's practical, you don't have to climb a ladder to get back up. Yay, we finished it. So excited to see the other obbies. Anyways, if you don't know how to teleport to free play mode, pro server, and the other servers, you can click this, it says server. And you can join the other servers through here. You can even teleport to the Halloween event. If I'm not wrong, it's actually Lana's lore quest. I'm still not ready to go inside the quest since I heard there will be jump scares and stuff. 
but I'm probably going to try it once I've finished editing this video and if I can complete the quest, I'll try making a tutorial video for you guys. Moving on, we have the dress up room map. It's mostly the same but with Halloween decorations. But the outside area though. It's absolutely breathtaking. I'm so in love with this update. Love the spider webs. And the scenery is beautiful. I'm gonna take so much pics. Lastly, the runway. So there are two runways. One is the Halloween runway, it will be triggered when the themes are related to Halloween. And there's also the regular runway for regular themes. This is the Halloween runway. It has the same color scheme and structural as the lobby. Whereas the regular runway has similar decorations as the dress-up room. It's giving more fall vibes rather than Halloween. I love it to be honest. Of course we have new makeups, pose packs and patterns, but you guys can check that out for yourselves because I can't fit all of them in one video lol. Those are all of the new things in the update. But wait, I want to tell you how you can get 2 times money game pass and increased item limit game pass for free. I will be giving away 5 of each game passes for you guys. All you need to do is fill the Google form link that I'm going to put in my description box, comment section, and community post. You can fill out the form multiple times for a higher chance of winning. You can also include your username in a comment once under each videos I uploaded, and it will increase your chance greatly. The giveaway will be closed at October 26th, and the winners will be announced on October 29th in my video. Don't forget to check it out. That's all for today. Comment the pumpkin emoji if you made it to the end. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day royals.